one game, one challenge and three challengers. Two of them are AI and one is me. And how do you think who can write a better snake game? Well, stay till the end because the results are very controversial. For those of you who don't know what the snake game is, I'll explain. If such people even exist, of course. We have a field and we have a snake. Let's pretend that this square is a snake. And we also have food in a random place. When the snake eats the food, it grows in size. If the snake hits the border of the screen or its own body, the game is over. Great, now about the challenge. First, I make my version of a snake game using pure JavaScript. It's a programming language, by the way. And then I ask ChatGPT and DeepSeek to make the same game also in pure JavaScript. And then we see who did it better and if anyone did it at all. Okay, first I need to write my own version of the game. So let's write some code. All right, it's been about 15 seconds for you guys and it's been about an hour for me. But now I'm finally ready to present you my version of the game, my baby. Ta-da! Wait a second, I know what you're thinking right now. It looks like shit. But it's supposed to look like that. It was intentional, I'm serious. Look at the very first version of a snake game. Well, actually I'm just too lazy to spend any more time adding styles, animations and all that stuff. And by the way, my version of the game has all the functionality I told you about. And now, it's time to start torturing AI with requests to write a snake game. Okay, let's start with DeepSeek. Everything the same as always. Simple prompt, copy the code and run it. And there's definitely something wrong with the food spawning. But in general, when the snake starts moving, everything works fine. Except for the fact that food can also spawn directly on the snake's body. And let's see if DeepSeek can get it right and fix it. And it did, the bugs were fixed and everything is fine now. But now let's see what ChatGPT can show us. So there is the same prompt, but ChatGPT gave me only JavaScript code with no HTML. And how am I supposed to run it? Do I have to write HTML code myself or what? And after ChatGPT gave me the HTML code, I ran its version of the game and... It looks almost like a version of a DeepSeek, only the game starts immediately without pressing a key. Seriously, it looks the same, try to find 10 differences. Moreover, the program code looks almost the same too, and I don't know who is copying who, but whatever, we won't judge anyone for it. But there is also a problem with food spawning, it can spawn right on the snake's body. And let's see if ChatGPT can fix it. And, of course, it did it. The bug has been fixed in exactly the same way DeepSeek did it. And now everything works fine. And now it's time to summarize the results. And actually, I'm confused. Because both AIs wrote almost identical version with almost identical code and bugs. But anyway, if we're just talking about time spent writing code, I'll put myself in last place, since the AI got it done much faster even though I hate to be in the last place. And if I had to choose between ChatGPT and DeepSeek, I would probably choose DeepSeek because I didn't have to ask for HTML code to run it and also because its version of the game can be started just by pressing the button. So these are the results. And if you want to see more videos like this, then hit that like button, subscribe and see you.